filter compressor gain noise gate gain oh there we go how about that so now it might be a little louder yeah a little bit uh from what i hear all right well we'll get going um so three of you are kind of a forward of the group. Um, we have orcs 40 yards up the ravine running north. Um, Edrum's wind wall is to the west of your group, like within just a few feet of you. Um, a cup, One of you went through, Finn kind of raced the lion out through the wind wall, I believe, and up. Um, and I think that's where smiles kind of stepped through and shot an arrow type thing. Uh, Graybeard also, I was, yeah. Yeah. It was like five feet away. Yeah. Charging up that wall, but they, they took off on their turn. So they, they definitely, um, used a dash action. So they're quite a far ahead of where they were as far as on that trail. So you guys are getting up to that trail. Um, Harshnag's in the back with Coffee and Ardreth and Ian at this point. Uh, which I don't see. I'm sure we rolled for Ian, but maybe we didn't. Hmm, I don't see her token. So let's get that on the board real quick. It might have been something we missed. Uh... Oh, are we on a battle map? No. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I can do her initiative like that. Nope, she rolled an eight, which is terrible for her. Crazy. So let me put her in, Ian. And that will get everything straightened out. And we're ready to go. All right, so uh, starting at the top of the round would be Edrum. And uh, uh -huh. you had cast a spell last turn. You're back with yes. the group um, a little ways back from the main, well, not the main group. You guys are just kind of split in half at the moment. Um, but what would you like uh, my, to do? My last turn. I had uh, cast one wall, and then I used my full movement to try to get up with the people out ahead. Yeah, so you were able to get um, up to kind of the trail that's, you know, 40, 40 feet up the, the cliff face, and you guys were a little bit ways back, so you used more of your movement to get closer. Um, so they are probably at this point on this little trail that looks like a, an animal trail on the side of the cliff face, they're probably 60 feet ahead of you at this point. They took a full run. Okay. Away. And, uh, how tightly are they grouped? Um, it's kind of just a string of them and there's no, it's not like equal spacing or anything They're you know, the, and they're all kind of more single file like. Yep. But from the, the first person to last, is it within like uh, 20 feet? Yeah, it's probably within 20 feet. Okay. Is that, are you going to do something? Yep. All right, um, so 30 feet ahead of the lead guy centered on the trail, I am going to cast plant growth uh, using the, the one action version, uh, one action spell time, uh, spell casting time version of the spell. Okay. Uh... Yep, so it kind of makes it like a difficult terrain. Seems reasonable. Yep. All right. 
Yeah, okay. So, yeah, on the side of the hill, uh, this mountain area, it is a mountainous area, but it's more like um, shrubs and um, small bushes that kind of uh, live in this area. And then that, that spell will create kind of like um, monstrous versions of those that carpet kind of the area. And we, it's a lot of like uh, browns and, and thorny and um, r almost like roots and stuff that just form up over the this side of the mountain, like this 100 foot circle on the mountain side here uh, out. So you said about 30 feet out in front of them? Yeah. Okay. So it should be a 100 foot radius circle uh, starting at the rear person. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, uh, so that's your action. You still have bonus action or movement at that point. Um, I am going to. Uh, and you're not. Try to... You're not in an animal form at this moment, right? That is correct. I'm in human form. Yeah, got it. Okay. And uh, the wind wall drops because I cast a different spell. Ah, okay. Wind wall's done. <clears throat> So wind wall comes down. We'll take that off the turn tracker. Perfect. And then I will try to keep pace with the three that are in the lead. Okay, so you're gonna so you're gonna run thirty feet. Is that your movement as a? Yep, thirty feet. Thirty feet. Yeah. So you're about um, you're about thirty feet behind them then. Okay. Uh, Go to my notes here a second. All right. Uh, Graybeard, you are up. You see Edrum up on the up on the trail. Um, you're kind of getting up to the trail, and you see uh, the plant growth that happens up forward of the uh, of kind of the the animal trail that these orcs are running on. It is your turn. All right, I uh, rush ahead, so I, my movement is 35, so put me as close to them as I can be, and then uh, I'm going to chuck a couple of javelins. Okay, yeah, so they, they would have been, again, they would have been 60 feet of head by the time you get up to the trail, unless you're not going to try to get up to the trail that they're on. Unless you try to went, go some other way. No, I think I think I'll follow the trail. Yeah. Okay. So when you get up on the trail, um, which would have been right at the end of your turn, uh, last turn, you see them running down that trail. They're about sixty feet ahead of you when you when you're starting this turn. Okay. So I go thirty five. Okay. And and then uh, it's. Chuck javelins. If there's any of them that are like wounded that I can tell, like the ones I already have chucked javelins at or whatnot, I will uh, target them specifically. Okay. And javelin rage. Oh, uh, first one clatters off of um, kind of the side of the mountain, and you see it kind of just miss an orc who is kind of dodging out of the way up and down this trail. And then you see the, you see the, the javelin kind of roll all the way back down to the, to the floor <laughs> of the, of the ravine. All right. Oh man. I, I only got a couple more. Um, there we yeah. go. And then that one will sink in. <clears throat> go ahead and roll damage. Yeah. That, that'll take one of the orcs off his feet. So it hits the orc in his back and it kind of pinwheels him. And he goes kind of clockwise as he pinwheels, and then you see his his limp form just kind of fall and and clatter down forty feet down towards the uh, the floor of the the mountain range here, this kind of ravine that you're in. So that one is definitely done. All right, so I don't think you'd have anything left bonus action wise, nope. maybe. No, nope. not currently. All right, so rage drops down to nine. Let's get that taken care of. Thank you. 
and let's move our turn order here. All right, uh, Mr. Harshnag is up. So he also is uh, seeing that you guys are attacking. So he kind of lifts a rock out of his pouch. And he's just going to go ahead and fling a rock at a boulder at one of these fleeing orcs. Um, he's kind of staying back with the group. So he's not really moving forward much. Um, he's not going to use too much of his movement. So he's just going to go ahead and just throw it. Uh, but let me get Harshnag up because that's somebody I forgot to bring up. Where is he? There he is. Yay, there he is. Cool. All right. Here comes a rock. Oh, <laughs> He must have rolled horrible, too. Look at that. Almost missed with a rock. Uh, let's make sure, though. These orcs have... I have the sheet up somewhere. There you are, Mr. Orc. Just enough. He needed a 13 to hit, and he rolled a 13. <laughs> so normally this rock would have obliterated the orc, but we're going to say it clips him just enough that it actually hits him in the head and crushes his skull but it, it kind of passes by him too it doesn't hit him solid it does kill the orc it hits which is with the guy in the back um so he goes down by a glancing blow to his head from this fist-sized um boulder that's been thrown and a fist size to a fire giant is probably for you guys it's it's, I bet it's bigger than a wall. It's like a, it's like throwing a giant pumpkin maybe, or <laughs> what would even be bigger than that? Probably actually. It'd be pretty big. I like definitely way bigger than a watermelon. I bet it's like, like one of those award winning pumpkins that you see in those pumpkin patches during Halloween that people have. That's probably about the size of the rock boulder. He's throwing it at these guys. So, uh, he's going to stay with the group. Uh, the guys that are kind of towards the back are casters and those that are bringing up the rear. And then that will bring us to coffee. All right. I believe I was engaged with an orc up on the ridge, correct? I had rushed up to him. Yeah, you used because you had had a bunch of movement, right? Yeah, I had 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had gotten up there. Um did I give you an attack of opportunity? Might not have. Did they try to run away from me? Yeah, yeah. All of them tried to run. Yep. Oh, I might have gotten one attack then. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, yeah. So you go ahead and take that attack now because I don't think I remember letting you have that. So you had an attack of opportunity from last turn. So you can just roll one regular old attack. For Wait one the a guys. minute. Are they, in a, are they in a line? They're... I wouldn't say like a straight line. They're on a trail okay. that winds a little bit. So, but they are definitely on a trail and they're all following it. They're not like trying to make their way differently. So in some ways they're in a line, but it's not like a straight hallway. All right. I'll just take a, a swipe at one of them with the opportunity. With the yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. 23 to hit. So as this guy turns his back to you, oh yeah, you would have killed that guy. So I'll just take one of the guys off. Um, okay, so starting this turn, um, what you would see then is that you would see some javelins get thrown from the dwarf who's running ahead. You would see Edrum who's ran up to the trail and cast a spell. You'd see a big giant pumpkin-sized rock take another one off his feet. And then these guys are running away from you and you're up. Uh, how far away are they? They only, well, they used a dash, um, so they got 60 feet away from anybody that would have been right at them. So that's, so you see them about 60 feet ahead of you on the trail. You're up on the trail too. There is now one, two, three, four, five left of the original group that, that means there's one, two, three, four have died. There's five left running on this trail. All right, I will close with the, uh, closest one and take a swipe. Okay, yeah, you got plenty of movement. Um, so 30 feet gets you... Oh, yeah, what's your... You get 80 just 
is your normal or is 80 your dash? So 40 is my normal. And because I have haste, it's 80. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So 24 have... hits. Okay. So you swing your sword and you hit this guy who's running from you. You slash across his back. Um, he stumbles a, a little bit, but then he keeps going. He growls at you over his shoulder as he keeps going. You haven't quite laid him out yet. All right, I'll take another swing. Yep, that would hit. Two good rolls. Look at all those rolls. Those are all good. Yeah, that would take him down. So you hit him with a slash across the back, and then the next shot uh, just goes right through his heart from his back. It's like a thrust right through his heart. <laughs> takes him down. Sweet. On the run. Um, and at haste, you're moving super fast, blindingly fast. It's almost like uh, you're kind of there in slow motion to you as far as how you perceive things. Everything seems to be moving slower than you perceive it um, as you're catching up on this group that's running. All right. Anything nice. else? Because you get uh, that, extra stuff. I should get an extra attack, but that guy, if I downed him, I don't. Yeah, yep. He's down. All right. Um, so Blade Song continues but drops down. I think your haste is linked to that too. Yes. So those are both on the same timer. We'll leave those ones alone. Uh, that brings us to Finn riding the lion. And Edrum's spell went off and locked him? Up in the front. They're kind of getting towards that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's about to hit him. It's all happening like in within six seconds here. All right, he will, uh, Finn will urge not on and we'll charge into the next closest one. Okay. It's starting to get a little clogged on the trail here. So you have a dwarf ahead of you. You have Edrum in front of you. You have um, uh, Coffee's up in front of you. How are you going to try to get past them, around them on this trail? You just want to try to get around them? with claws. Yeah. Yeah, so let's let's do a, a riding check, just have you ride around, because you're going to kind of go off the trail, up around them, and then come back down on the trail as you get around them to catch up to some more of these orcs. Um, so let's do... It would be a skill you're good at, so I don't want it to be anything... You have animal handling? As a... I do. That's a wisdom check. Wouldn't it be like a strength or a dex, maybe? Yeah, maybe an athletics sort? or... Do you want me to check Nod or do you want me to check Finn? It's just, yeah, it'd be Nod keeping his footing. So you can do a dex check off a of Nod. Nod's dex should be pretty good. It's It's not a very high roll. It's just a... Okay. Yeah, he actually, uh, so you try to go up and around. Uh, the person in the back would be Edrum is probably the first one you go up and around. And then you get around him, you're back on the trail, and then the dwarf's in, in, in front of you. So you kind of, you went up the the cliff face to get around Edrum. And then Nod decides to kind of go below where the dwarf is, slips a little, and he puts you up behind um, Coffee. But you're not at that point able to get around Coffee. So okay. the orc from you is probably um, range wise, uh, they're probably only probably ten feet from you. The guy in the back, you've like passed some dead bodies on the trail that are that coffee just killed the guy that's dead on the trail and has leaped over. You've you're coming up behind that and now I was trying to find a way around coffee, but didn't quite see a spot in this part of the trail, so he slows up. Um, you have the ability to, if you got anything you can throw or range, do you got spells you can do, or what do you want to do? Nah, nothing. I will uh, aid coffee. Okay. And what weapons do you have out at this point? You got your... Hammer and shield. Hammer and shield? Okay. All right. Uh, orcs. Orcs are still going to try to dash... Um, so they're in the plant growth. They're making their way through the plant growth. 
And basically what it is, there used to be a trail here, but now it's like these uh, these roots from some of these scrub brushes that are on the sides of the hills here have now grown to be like, uh, you know, one or two feet in diameter. And they look they're just all these gnarly ro roots that are all along the trail, all along the side of the mountain now. And so trying to get your footing to move through them um, uh, is really tricky. And it's not like they're solid. So it's not like you can just step on one and jump to another one and jump to another one and, and move quickly. It's like they're spongy they trip you up. They're hard to move. When your feet get on them, they move around a little bit. So everybody that's trying to move through this will use four feet of movement for every one foot you're trying to move forward. They're in the middle of it, so if they're still going to use their dash. Um, so I think it's just... Let's see how far they would make it. Uh I got to do math now. Thank you, Druid. It'd be 15 feet. One quarter of 60. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So they, they are 15 feet deeper into the, into the brush of this. Um, yeah. Okay. And they're just trying to basically get through it and get away from you guys. Uh, that'll bring us to Ian. Ian is going to be running uh, Ian and Ardrith are probably just going to shoot because they have bows that reach pretty far so we'll just fire off a couple arrows from them and yeah they you guys see some arrows kind of streak out uh, from those two let me see Grab them. There you are. Oh, good, good. I'm just going to use her regular shot here. Uh, 13 hits. So an arrow streaks out and hits, and I think she gets two by now. I think she gets two arrows now. So we'll roll another one. Yeah, that makes it. So two arrows. Oh, bad damage rolls. Okay. Let's see. That is still five, six, seven. That's not enough. So the guy she hits looks very bad off. He's got a he's got a wound from a previous um, hit. He's got now two arrows stuck in his back that went through his armor. You can see blood gushing out. He's limping as he's trying to move forward. He's the guy in the back. Has uh, He looks like he's near death's door as he's still trying to get away from you guys. Fear in his eyes as he keeps going. And then let's go ahead and get uh, Ardreth. Uh, there we go. And somewhere on here is his longbow. Yep, he'll hit. I don't think he gets two attacks, so he puts a third arrow into the guy that's limping, and that guy goes down. So three arrows into that orc, and he is now dead on the trail, bleeding out, glassy-eyed. That will take care of Ian and Ardreth, and that will bring us back to the top of the round to Edrum. Uh, how many orcs are still on their feet? Still climbing at this point through the stuff are three. And are they still within, say, 10 or 15 feet of each other? Mm, yeah, they're pretty strung out. I mean, one of them probably is within 10 foot of another guy, but then the other guy's probably, you know, 15 feet away from the other guy. I wouldn't say they're equal distance from each other. They're just kind of up, um, strung out from the ones that have been taken down so far. And 
And uh, how far away is the nearest one? For you, it would have been... The nearest one is probably 50 feet at this point. The guy that was closer just got shot by arrows. So the next closest guy would be about 50 feet ahead in kind of this uh, plant bramble. Okay. Uh, I'm going to throw a Which you guys are getting up to too now, right? Because that's a be pretty close to where you guys are. Uh, yeah, 13 would hit. Or actually, so at 30 feet, it's short range, but it's disadvantaged to throw it over 30 feet. So you have to take the lower number. So 10 would miss. So a javelin would miss. Okay. Yeah. So a javelin streaks over and just misses uh, one of the orcs. He kind of ducks and, and howls back at you as he tries to keep cli climbing and clawing his way over these roots that have grown in, on the side of the mountain. Okay. Um, so attack, you still have movement and you still have bonus action. If there's anything you want to do with that. Uh, I will advance to the edge of the, uh, plant growth area. Okay. So you run right up to that. Um, and yeah, you were only, yeah. So you would use your 30 foot of movement and you'd be right at where it starts. So you haven't actually gone in it yet, but you're right at the edge of it. Yep. I will stop right here. Okay. All right, Greybeard, you are up. Whoop, whoop. All right, and they are flat out running, right? Yeah. So let's see, the guy nearest you now, because of some of the guys that have gone down. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's a guy that's probably 45 feet ahead of you-ish on the trail. Um, but you can see that the trail is covered with these roots that is making it hard for them to run. So you're within 25 feet of where that starts, and then you'd be okay. going through it also. I, I am going to... Um, yeah, I, I guess I, I, I keep going. I'll rush the 25 to the edge and then seven feet in i guess because <laughs> okay. i got another 10 feet of movement and then uh i i will chuck my last two javelins all right oh my another one clatters off down the uh wow. actually you even see that one break yeah i did yes you all need right. to stretch out a little bit before you start throwing those yeah, I guess. I guess track and field is not my sport this time. There we go. Yep, second one hits. Flings into the back of one of the orcs. For nine piercing damage. That's pretty good. Uh, these guys towards the back had not been hit yet. So when this one hits that guy, it hits his back shoulder hard. It shoves him forward, but you can tell it has not killed him quite yet. It's definitely a, a grievous wound on him, but it hasn't hasn't taken him out in one shot. All right. Uh, bonus action. Mm, nope. All right. Let's get the rage down. Harsh nag. Uh, we'll start to run forward on the floor of the ravine. So he can only make about 60 feet. Which for a rock... Let me find his character sheet again. I got a lot of stuff up. Um, they're a little bit farther, so they're, they're he's going to take this as a disadvantaged rock shot, but he takes a, another pumpkin-sized rock out of his pouch, and he hucks it at one of these orcs. He's gonna, it's at disadvantage, so he takes the lower number, and he misses. So you see one of these rocks shatter off the side of the hill. Um, the orcs are sprayed with chips of stone and maybe have little little abrasions and cuts and dust that they're, they're clicking through as this rock impacts the side of the hill, but actually misses and does not kill an orc, um, but continues to move forward along the, um, the valley floor. 
Coffee, you are up. There are there's one wounded orc and two unwounded, but they are in this bramble of plants at this point ahead of you. Bramble of plants. Yeah, it's like roots and and just basically difficult terrain of trying to get through it. Not enough for cover, but enough to trip your feet up and, and make the footing really hard to move on the trail. And how far away are they? Uh, they got the, the guy at the back who just was wounded by a javelin. Has a javelin in his back is 25 feet from you. And the other guy is ahead of that is about 30 feet. He's about five feet ahead of him. And the one guy that's even further, he's he's definitely ahead of all of them, is 40 feet away from you. And they keep looking over their shoulders. You can see fear in their eyes. Um, and they're just trying to get as far down this trail as they can, heading north. Can I cover them all in a 20-foot radius sphere? Yeah, if you center it on the middle guy, that would be within a 20-foot, because that would be a 10-foot. No, that would be a 20-foot radius. So a 10, yeah, yeah. So you'd have to center it on the center guy, and then that would be close enough to hit the guy in the back and close enough to hit the guy up front. So, yeah, that would work. All right, I'm going to do a second level sleep. All right. And do they get a, a save on this? Not. Nope. <laughs> no, sleep is different now. That's okay. So if sleep gets used against you guys, there's no save, huh? Nope. That's why we're elves. That's crazy. Well. Most of us are elves. Um. <laughs> Good to know. So you got to roll a bunch of dice. 78. That should be good and high unless you roll terrible. All right. So that that's is a pretty good. Yeah, that's a good roll. Um, so the guy in the back who's wounded, because it starts with the the least hit point guy, he definitely f f drops. You see one guy drop. He's going to sleep. Um, that leaves that much, which would take that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You rolled exactly enough to put all three down. Done. Interrogation oh, oh, target. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just enough. So you see these three forms just kind of fall into the roots on the trail here. So all three have fallen asleep. Sweet. Um, and that's able to let you guys kind of catch up so we don't need to be in turn order anymore. All right, so what's the group want to do? Uh, I... I and the uh, plant growth. And if I can, I'm going to try to recover some javelins. Uh, yeah, you're able to, uh, usually you get back half of whatever you tossed out that didn't break. Okay. Thank you. That was super dangerous. Running on a mountainside. <laughs> But now we have targets to interrogate. We probably shouldn't let PB do it. <laughs> God, God no. PB just walks up and just starts stabbing him. <laughs> execute, execute, that, execute. Yeah, that would be in, in character, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Arjoth probably would do it too, though. I think he did one in the in the. Didn't he kill? I think he killed a goblin in the dripping caves. That sounds right. Yeah, so the murderers at the back with the bows are, are looking menacingly at these orcs. But the guys that are going to be up... up uh, coffee would be there first on, on those guys with your haste still firing off at this point. Graybeard's 
at the back of the brambles. If he goes, starts walking through the brambles, he gets there next. Then Edrum. Um, also, actually, the second person there is probably the lion. If you continue forward, where was Smiles in that? He was just trying to keep up, but it's hard to keep up with the lion. All right. Yeah, in his brain, he's thinking, "Where's my lion? This job would be way easier if I had a lion." When you get there, lucky you're alive. <laughs> Smiles about letting you. <laughs> That's right. When you get to fourth level, mister. <laughs> so yeah, you guys are half of you up on the trail. Some of you are still kind of down. Yeah, and the trail is only about 40 feet up on the ridge line. It's just this weird animal deer trail, elk trail, antelope trail, whatever you'd want to call it, that they were using to try to move around up here. Well, I say we bind them ASAP. And uh, get ready to interrogate them and see what they know where, if they were part of the group that came to the hall, and who sent them and who they're with. Yeah, so you're, they're, they're asleep, so you're able to tie their hands. Um, typically, as long as you don't hurt them, they're not going to wake up from the sleep unless you choose to wake them up. I think it yeah, lasts for a while them. too, doesn't it? Like hours or? Oh no, it's only a minute. Uh, it's only a minute. Oh, so that's maybe that's the the difference now in the fifth edition. But I think the original one was a, quite a while. It doesn't take that long to slit throats for most players. Murder hobos. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get advantage with my great axe when they're sleeping. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the wounded guy's bleeding out. Hands are tied. The other two have not been hit by anything yet, so they are fresh, but you have their hands tied and you're on the trail. You're not necessarily... Um, you're, you're still in the mountain range. It's cold. You can see snow higher up in elevation, not necessarily at the part you guys are at. Um, the roots that had magically grown have withered away as the spell has dissipated, um, and they just kind of crumble off like uh bits of debris and detris and ash and that kind of stuff from these things just rapidly aging and then dying out does anybody else speak uh, goblin no uh, i do not uh Ardrith speaks orc and is willing to translate these are orcs uh can orcs have a separate language too? It's nuts. Well, I think so. Well, let me look at their. I guess I didn't even think of that. Orcs speak common and orc typically. Cack. Yeah, they have their own language. But they would speak common, so I guess all of you can speak to them. They understand common. So three sleeping orcs, one bleeding out. PB, handle the bleeding one. <laughs> she steps forward and kills him. <laughs> you now have two live orcs. Yeah, actually, Finn doesn't have a huge problem with that, with orcs. It is another prisoner you've executed, though. He was tied up. Smiles does not look happy at all. Yeah, is he a big orc fan? He's a big somebody's tied up and just got killed. Unfan. It's the opposite of fan. Does does PB give him a look as she does it? Yeah. <laughs> like that. stares at him. <laughs> <laughs> Makes eye contact, uh, certainly. PTSD moment. <laughs> <laughs> so Ardrith speaks or yeah, but you, you guys know that orcs can understand common, though, so anybody can talk to them. TB, you want to interrogate? You look threat. Sure. Are you all still raged out? We're going to get your uh, GB no, rage had voice. To, yeah, that had to drop because uh, I wasn't being attacked. Oh. Um, all right. TB, yep. TB punches you. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, I actually, 
am skilled in the art of intimidation. What do we want to know? Were they the orcs that uh, came to with the giants to Zevron Hall? All right. <laughs> Gosh day, I'm plus four. <laughs> Can't roll tonight. So what, what are you trying to do uh, here? Give you me, wake him up with a hug. Yeah, tell me what's happening. Yeah, I guess I I guess I kicked him and said, you know, I were you with the giants at Zimovan Hall? And so you you kicked him and you're and then you're asking the question. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he kind of looks at you and he, he's he's groggy from this magical sleep that hit him and he's. He's blinking and he's trying to rub his eyes, but he can't because his hands are tied. Is hands behind behind the back or in front of him or what? How was he tied up? I didn't tie him up, but I I would suggest behind their backs. Yeah, behind their back. Yeah, so he's kind of trying to roll around to see if he could wipe his eyes at this point. And he's you can see he's kind of bleary eyed, and as you kick him, he's um, and uh, he says. D- we do what the giants tell us to do. Right. All right. So that's it. I look at Finn like, do I need to keep talking? Um, <laughs> no. What, what giant? giant? Where do you t- where do you meet these giants for instruction? Uh, he says. Gortok tells us what to do. We listen when he talks. Where is Gortok? He uh he kind of does a nod like as if further up into the ravine. Does this Gortog have fiery red hair? Um, I think they all do. Fire giants do, generally yeah, speaking. I think they're, they're all gingers. All do. But I wanted to find out if it's a fire giant, see? Yeah, yeah, I think he does. Yeah, I'm going to say, yeah. So so uh, the, the, the orc kind of gives you a nod as he, he's trying to kind of sit himself up. All right. What else we need to know? And I look at everyone. How many giants are with this Gortok? How many orcs are with this Gortok? Uh, he decides the. You kind of see him um, tighten his jaw as if he's not going to answer you. Oh, good. I say tickle, tickle, and give him a couple of like good pops. Okay, so like actual damage or just no, 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 just to cause pain. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so you kind of slap him around a little bit, and then uh, he kind of smiles at you and and says, "You're not gonna be able to do worse than Gortog. Living <laughs> living amongst them is worse than anything you stunties could do." I uh, I then look over my shoulder at harsh nag and i'm like are you hungry and i start dragging the orc towards harsh nag <laughs> let's see if harsh nag gets what you're saying here uh where's his character sheet let's do a roll oh i thought i had him up where'd he go Let's see how he plays that. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he, he's like... Yeah, he kind of chuckles and laughs. He says, uh... Yeah, great beard. I haven't eaten all day. And he's kind of smacking his lips as you're dragging the orc over. All right. Um, well, let's see what the th- orc would do. 
this one doesn't seem to want to talk. So he's no good to us. Might yeah, as well he, be a snack. Yeah, he struggles He as if he all of a sudden thinks this, this giant's going to start eating him. Um, and he's trying to kind of kick out of your, your grip, but he's unable to. Um, and he says, there's a bunch of orcs and, and two giants. As he's trying to kick his way out of your grip. No, was that hard? And I, I let go and I say, we might have a use for him yet. Not lunchtime. Hold on, big guy. And he's like, ah, oh, now you're teasing me. Well, it's up to him. Uh, and then uh, I give one more glance at, like, Finn and Coffee, like, come on, guys. You gotta back my play. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm a paladin of Corellian. My, uh, my god despises orcs. You toss them down the gullet, as far as I'm concerned. Hey, uh, you guys got a nice fort over there? Somewhere where we can live, you know, after we kill them fire giants. We're gonna need someone to stay. So I basically try to get him to tell me if there's, like, you know, splay or a badass or a fort or a cave or what they're living in. Um, he looks confused. He's like, he's, he's not getting what you're saying. Um, and he's like, there's no forts around here. The, the, you go have Zymorvin Hall. I hear there's nobody there. Right. Where do you guys live? In a cave? In the woods? On the ground? And he laughs, and, and he kind of laughs at you a little bit, and then says, Iron Slag. Uh... Right. Yeah, we gotta go there, right? That's one of the places we're going. Harshnag's been trying to figure out how to infiltrate there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ta we've talked a couple times about it. Eventually. Yes. But I'm not letting him know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys know that that's Duke Salto's current base yep. of operations. And it's one of the... Um, Goblin, or I'm sorry, it was one of the dwarven cities that got taken over. So, have have you been to Iron Slag? Or I mean, how long has it been since you were in Iron Slag? Uh, he says we've been traveling for months now. Oh, uh, I hear they they're trying to fire up the old forges. I'd like to see that. Yeah, he just he he doesn't he doesn't say anything to that. All right, well, we just want the citizens. Where where are the slaves you have taken? That's it. His life is forfeit after that. So you're <laughs> you asking you're asking loud, questions. Right? That's... <laughs> yeah, what, what what's happening here? <laughs> have it's you his moved version forward? of negotiation. Oh yeah, yeah. The the people from Zymorven, are they are they they up over with the the giants. Uh, he kind of uh, looks from you know each of you to another, and then and says, "Well, they were." All right, and I I just drag him back over to. We have Other another one. one, don't we? Yeah, yeah. And and by the time you guys have just finished up this this interrogation, that one's probably just now coming awake. Still tied up like the other one, but his, the spell is probably just wearing off of him, naturally. All right. I'm like, I look around at them again, and I'm like, he's just going to give us the same answers. Dude, oh, we just toss him down the mountainside. Let's be on our way. <laughs> wow this is this different uh i'm like i'm like 
GB walks away. I'm like, oh, I don't. Uh, it just something ain't right there. <laughs> and he just I, walks away. I'm not saying kill him. I'm just saying toss him down the hill. Let him tumble. They'll get loose eventually. All right. Then at that, that. That's about as much as I can give you for an orc. Sorry. Okay. I, uh, whoosh. I let him roll. All right. Uh, that's cool. Let's see. Goblin, bugbear. Uh, Might have gotten a different response from Finn, but not orcs. So let's see what ends up happening here. Okay. <laughs> uh, this might not go well for them. But let's see. So we want how many of those? Roll that many. Oh, yeah. First guy dies completely. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> As he goes Oops. rolling down the hill, head smashes off several rocks and it's it's a very rocky area, very... Uh, We're 40 feet up. How does he take 60 points of damage? It's uh, 1d6 per 10 feet of of falling. The next no guy? Yeah, even more. Both roll off the hill and die. How do you get a 17 out of a 1 die 6? Not 1 die 6. It's 1 die 6 per 10 feet. They just dropped 40 feet off the edge. <laughs> no, Arthur, you're not dead yet. But, you know, we could throw you off the cliff and see what If happens. they throw you off the cliff, it'll work. <laughs> So yeah, they're they're Jeez. sprayed. And are you are you are you playing PB by the night by the way tonight, Logan? No, this is Finn. Oh, okay, as, I just came into goblins being thrown off cliffs, so I wasn't sure. As, as or, they're tumbling, there's a difference. As they're tumbling down the hill, and they're like, bam! They hit a rock, and like the it's obvious, like one of their arms shatters, and then bam! They're hitting things. GB's like, ooh, oh, oh, that no, oh, the head's flat. That was bad. Maybe shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, and it's like overkill because they have like 15 total hit points. So it's like they are mangled at the bottom of this this ravine. <laughs> As a player, I can't help but laugh. <laughs> As GB, a player. <laughs> GB doesn't laugh. He's like, oh, <laughs> that would hurt. Well, Finn will whisper a prayer to Corellan. Enemies of yours. All Unto right. you, my lord. All right. Uh, so you guys are on the side of the hill. Um, what's the group do next? GB takes a, the advantage of uh, PB being not here and says, Oh, so we should probably just go blindly charging into the giant camp, right? Huh, PB? Uh -huh. I did a little bit of scouting while they were doing the interrogation. Okay, uh, scouting where? Uh, the same direction along that game trail that the orcs were fleeing. Okay, yep, so you can do a survival check, checking for for tracks and... Um, in uh, line check, can I do a uh, uh, perception? You're going to shift? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, so you can definitely tell that... Um, there are orcs that move along this trail and a lot of the scents that you're picking up are the ones that you have that um, you've already passed and are right here that have been using this trail so it's obvious that they came down it from the north uh, but nothing besides orcs nope okay All right. Anybody else? Anything else? The 
We moving up the trail? As usual, I'll be towards the back. I'm assuming PB's running her crazy radar the whole time. Yeah, that'd be a good thing. Do that mojo. Um, yeah, so she'll she'll stop a moment and she will concentrate. And yeah, she's picking up um, the same thing she was before, the um, giants and some orcs to the north. It's all within a five-mile radius so she knows they're within five miles to the north, but not exactly where. So she's still picking them up north of you guys. Let's make haste. All right. And you guys are going to be on the game trail? Uh, is it continued to head north also? Yeah, yeah, it winds. It kind of winds north. Um, did, did we is just everybody moving up to that? Everybody's going to move up the hill to the game trail? Is that what's happening? Have we lost track of whatever the sled or what the giants were pulling all the slaves on? I mean, are they pulling it up the mountainside too? No, there are no tracks on the mountainside of, of the sled or the giants. Did we lose that trail? Yeah, we crossed the river, I thought, and, and was able to follow it. Yeah, you guys followed it into the ravine area here. So, yeah, Ian mentions that all, th all those tracks were at the floor of the, the ravine. They weren't up on the mountain. Oh, is there a secret passage back down below we should go look for? Yeah, I mean... As can she make a tracking roll to keep following them? I mean, if it's actually yeah. giants, let's have her tracking those giants. I mean, maybe they picked it up and are carrying it. Hmm. So, the trail the you guys on had been following. Enemy? Yeah, uh, the, not on the survival. Uh, let me look. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, wisdom check. Yeah, so she, she, the tracks are down at the floor of the ravine. So she can see the tracks of, um, whatever they're dragging in the giants and some, you know, orc trails and orc tracks are down there, um, along the, the floor of the ravine. Heading north. So we continue to follow those tracks then? With her perception and Edrim scouting ahead? Yeah, it's okay with me. Yeah, so you guys uh, continued uh, further up the ravine. Uh, Edrim's out front. How far out front are you, Edrim? Uh, I'm still within uh, uh, a sight line of them. So, I, I don't know, 100 feet. Okay. Something like that. We just stay in sight of them as you go? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so you're making it all the way, and you guys are kind of making it to the back of what appears to be where this ravine, it looks like you're going kind of to the back of it. The, the, the mountain tops, as you can see, um, it feels like you're getting to almost like a, a cul-de-sac kind of thing or the, the end of it. Um, and then, so the, go ahead and let's see, actually you would probably just see it. Um, so up ahead, you see, let's do this maybe I'll change this over here I 
All right, there we go. Okay. Um, so towards the back of where the this, it kind of turns into like a cul-de-sac at the back, and you can see several football fields ahead. Um, you're kind of still, I would say it's 200 yards out. You see a group of orcs and two fire giants, and they seem to have like their back to you. And they're, they're, um, they're kind of up against like a, a cliff wall or a cliff face. And they're facing the cliff wall. And you think just past them, you think you see like an opening in the, in the cliff face area. Okay. So they're still moving. No, they look like they're standing. Okay. Um, I will circle around uh, and wait for everybody else to uh, catch up. Okay. So yeah, you guys. I mean, are, um, I mean, there's there's some cover here and there. There's there's not a lot, but you guys can try to kind of. I guess you guys can do st stealth rolls if you're going to try to get any closer than two hundred feet up, or two hundred yards. But you can kind of see the same thing he sees. You see the backs of several orcs, um, two fire giants. They seem to be facing uh, a cliff face that looks like there's an opening past them. But their their bulk is kind of blocking it, so you don't quite see. It looks like it's probably some type of cave entrance, maybe, that they're in front of. Is it big enough for the fire giants to go into? You can't tell from this far back. And there's, there's definitely not a lot of cover. If you're going to try to sneak up on them, you're going to have to do some stealth checks. Again, nobody sneaks with a frost giant. Yeah, he's kind of crouched down behind you guys for the furthest back. He's hiding behind Greybeard. <laughs> not necessarily hiding, but definitely not standing 19 feet tall at the back in plate armor that makes a ton of noise just like your paladin <laughs> but you guys are like two football fields away so they have you have not alerted them so at this point it seems like they do not know you're there uh, I'm going to resume human shape okay and um, I will say, uh, if we're not going to sneak in, uh, I can get another wind wall in place that will deflect most of their um, missile attacks. What of your call lightning spell? I, I can do that as well. Did Ardwith expend any spell last... Uh... I did one. Today. That was it. But I can definitely will plan on using this one again. Well, I don't see any other scenario other than get him at this point. Does anybody uh, else see it? Nope, nope, that's it. We gotta go after him, man. That's I like good. the way you think. <laughs> it's a canyon. Does PB sense anything outside the canyon? Like it's not an ambush of some sort? Uh, she takes a minute to concentrate. Um, and the only thing she's picking up are the two giants and the the, the group of orcs. She's not picking up anything else within a five mile radius. No humans with them? Nope. Well, the prisoners aren't there. We don't need to fight them, I guess. We don't need to get them. If the prisoners aren't there, that's what we came for. I mean... Unless they're in the cavern. Well, I think she can... Well, I don't know. Just stone block her 
crazy radar. Well, she can't. Could she tell peoples? I thought it was only like orcs and giants. Yeah, I got the impression it was only uh, her, her um, uh, enemies of choice. Well, it says humanoids is what she picked, <laughs> which is kind of vague. But yeah, it's, I, I, we've been playing it that she can pick up human people, you know, human people. Uh, I thought she hated people. That was why she picked it, humans. <laughs> well, it's it's humanoids. Six at one, half a dozen the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's, there wasn't a definition of what got grouped into that. So we've, we've been kind of loosely playing it as kind of the regular races of humans. So humans, you know, I, I'm, I'm guessing in that is included like dwarves or elves or. Although actually, I think technically goblins are listed as goblinoid, so they probably shouldn't fall under that although orcs i think are listed under humanoid i don't think they're just they say might be goblin let's say you can select two races of humanoid such as goblins or gnolls and orcs as favorite enemy when you make that choice yeah but she's playing the the ranger that they changed the rules on the unearthed arcana ranger Oh. Which, which changed that up a little bit. But yeah, she's not picking them up. And I, I, I'm, I mean, I guess just to help you out, I'm playing it as if, yeah, if they're in the caves, you're not just picking up people that are five miles deep. I'm, I'm letting her have that ability as if it's out in the open. Right. So, but we're going to have to fight these gobs at some point, right? I think so, but if anyone's got a better way than straight down the canyon, I am all for it. This way they can't run away from us. And I, GB looks around, he's like, all right, so one of you wizards invisible up the other one, and then, you know, do that lightning thing. Get him. Isn't that how it works? Sounds like a plan. Because, yeah, I think we need to be within 120 feet. Oh, oh, right. Here. We'll stand up in the in the uphill position, and Harshnag will yell out a challenge, and we'll all be hiding, and then we jump them when they come to beat him. Sorry, big guy. Two, two fire giants versus one frost giant? They might take that. I bet. Little ambush. Yeah. Then lightning them. And they gotta fight up the hill to get us. Is Harsh Nag okay with that? I don't know. I'm looking at him. Wait for him to answer. Yeah, he looks at you guys and, and uh, I mean, he gives you kind of a shrug of the shoulders like, man, it's sure it's worth a try. Let's do it. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take our first break here then, because um, now I'll have to make a different map. Because <laughs> we totally changed stuff break. Like break. So, yeah. Where did you expect us to it's fight great, this? Yeah. He thought we were going to go up the hill. Uh, so let me switch that around. So, all right. <laughs> Five-minute break, and we'll come back. We'll see how fast I can make a map. This would be a good test. <laughs> So stay tuned. We got plenty of more action to go. <laughs> Let's switch it over. Be right back.
All right, we're ready to pick it back up. Uh, let's jump back in, get you guys back to the map. All right, so let's go over your plan again, and then uh, we'll execute it. So what are you, what are you telling Harshnag here? Well, Apparently, we're going to use him to taunt. Okay, so he just says you want me to taunt the the fire giants. Yep, and then we're going to sit on ambush on both sides. And when you say ambush, there's not like there's a lot of places to hide. Where are you going to sit? Were there nothing, there was nothing up the cliffs we can get to, to take them from a point of elevation? Um, it's, it's like a sloping mountain hill. But at the back here, where it's kind of the cul-de-sac back, the, the, the west and east wall of the mountain is kind of um, angled away from you. So it's like a big circle at the back or a big, you know, big half circle at the back. And you guys have followed their trail up. The trail kind of led up the middle. And that's where you guys were when you saw them. So to, to move, you know, to an elevated position, um, you would have to go quite a ways away either to your west or your east. But, but you wouldn't be in any you wouldn't be close enough to support Harsnag. Great, 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 great. Need to rethink that one. How close do you need to be for the lightning spell? 100 and... Hold on here. Is that 60? Let's just advance up and you guys can start casting the moment you get in range. 120. Or let Greybeard, Harshnag, and I advance forward and engage, and then you guys can start with lightning. Is it? Can you pick your targets fairly well? Yes, we can. <laughs> Anyone in our range? As the one of the two guys in plate armor makes the inquiry. <laughs> that was Will light, good. lightning bounce to another? another? Yeah. Just those guys. Yeah, we can pick you out swords. very easily. <laughs> Just drawn to you. Well, Finn will drop his visor and look up at Harshnag and over to Greybeard. I'm good. I'm good. There's only one way out of here. It's through us. So, so, so yeah, Harshnag so, yeah. kind of looks at you guys and he says, all right, so I'm going to go forward and challenge him and they're going to come to me and then you guys are going to attack him. That's the plan. Uh, there's no hiding here. But, yeah, pretty much. So, I'll be next to Harshnag. Me too. And I will be off a ways. Um, so, how far away are we from them now? Or even just behind us would be good. 200 yards. Yeah. Okay. I, I'll follow directly behind uh, Harshnag, uh, Greybeard, and, and Finn. Like maybe ten feet or something. Right. Well, let me let, let me, me do let this me... a second before you guys make make your big decision here. How can I do this? Give me a second. Oh, that's going to be the problem. Is that? Oh, actually. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Let me try this a second. Oh, your guys' icons. Let's 
so. It's just mockery. Oh, that's a good spell. Who else am I missing? Who else needs to see? Huh. Your mother was a hamster. So I've got coffee, Ardrith, Greybeard, Finn. Oh, uh... Are you in human form right now, uh, Edrim, or did you just switch yes, back? Yes, uh, human form. You're in human form? Where did I put your picture? That's interesting. Oh, <clears throat> that's your picture. Did we have a human token for you? Have we never used that yet? Um. We haven't. Uh, we've been on the uh, You've been using big the map token, since right? I joined. Yeah. I think I did put them all into Discord at one point. All right. Well, I'm going to... I'll just use the one I had for RML. That'll look about the same. Okay. Let's let you guys at least see this before... You're not actually on the map where I'm putting your tokens. I'm just putting you here so you can see the map, so you can kind of make a decision. You're still 200 yards away, and I'm now assigning tokens so you guys will be able to see. Um, Greybeard. All right. Oh, and let's move players to here. All right, Greybeard, you should be able to see something. Uh -huh. I would don't wouldn't move around, but you should be able to see kind of where they're standing. Uh, Ardreth, I'll get you next. Okay. Cool. Nice man. All right, so I'm gonna put you there. I'm gonna put you there, just so you can kind of. This is what you're seeing, 200 yards ahead of you. Their backs are to you at the moment. They're facing the cliff face. Uh, Edrim, let's get you set up so you can see it. Oh nope, wrong guy. Edra mini pause. That's who I want. Similar to menopause. Coffee. Uh, one thing about having one of these large modules is there's so many things to choose. It makes the list really big. So those of you at home oh, are seeing yeah. how many things I have to choose from. So my list of what to assign the token to is like a thousand names long. <laughs> and then Finn. All right, are you guys kind of seeing the setup at the moment? Uh, Finn, you're almost set. Hold on. Now there's quite a bit of train between you guys still at this point. There, does everybody see now? Yep. All right, so up ahead of you, 200 yards ahead, backs, to your, backs turned to you. You guys see these guys are facing this cliff wall. So is your plan still just to advance, or do you want to actually come up with something? 
Because hmm. I, I have a map if you're going to draw them away from here. You're going to draw them to you. I have the map for that now. So I'm ready for either option. Well, I just as soon see him come away from the cliff wall. Yeah. yeah. possible escape route so if they can come to us great okay uh, so let me grab your tokens so the plan then is the original plan have Harsnag challenge them and then as they come down to him you guys will you know jump up from the ground or something and yeah or step out from behind Harsnag okay uh... All right, yeah, so you guys scrabble forward. Uh, let's put you guys here. Let's move that. All right, and we'll say Harshnag has moved forward to about there. So he kind of jogs forward ahead of you guys a little bit. Um, and you hear him kind of bellow out um, in giant. And you see the the orcs and the orogs and the, the, the fire giants that you guys could see um, turn and he's kind of shaking his axe in the air and he's for any of you that actually uh, can speak giant he's cursing their their parentage and heritage and calling them half breeds and and um, insulting them with you know whatever giant um, racial slur they have for other fire giants or you know orcs and, and, and such <laughs> And so he's putting out a pretty big show, and that that definitely gets them fired up. And uh, the, you see the fire, no one of the fire intended. giants. Yeah, uh, he kind of yells. It's obvious he turns and says something to the 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 cave entrance, but then they they turn as a group, and he he yells at them to to charge Harshnag. And so they kind of spread out and they start sprinting south towards Harsnag. And now let's put you guys so you can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, Harsnag definitely moved ahead of you guys a little bit. Uh, all right, so let's move the map. All right, um, you guys kind of see where you're at? Yep. yep. Okay, what I don't have is uh, an Ian, so let's bring an Ian. So we got an Ian. Can you duplicate a token and assign it to someone else? Mm. You can you can assign a token to a character sheet. I don't think you can have represents a character controlled by. Yeah, oh, you can do I a was control say, by. controlled by. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do a controlled by, but it wouldn't be a copy and a paste. It'd be. Um, all right, so we need. What else do we need here? We need our lion, right? How is it I don't have. 
tokens for those. Where are they? Because I know they're around. Uh, there's the lion. Let's grab that. All right. Anybody else? Oh, we need smiles. He's the last one we need, which is this guy. So on your guys' token, you should be able to select them, and you should be able to type in your hit points in in one of those bars. If you do bar one, then we'll be able to see them. When you say bar one, do you mean the blue spot? I think it's the yellow circle is bar one, I believe. But it when you look at it, I think it tells you. Let me get back to the same screen. All right. Uh, yeah, so bar one is a yellow circle. So yeah, it's the yellow circle one is the bar. All right, so smiles. Make him a generic controlled by Finn. There, can you move smiles now? Yep. And nod. You can control nod, right? Yep. All right. So I'm going to mark bar, I had these set up, but once you move them, it's tough to get them reset up. Uh, there we go. All right, so you guys should all be able to set your bars. I think mine's good. It says 50 on there. Awesome. I don't know why my bar is visible. I just did it with the little gear. Yeah, that's what I did. And it. Yeah, 42, 42. Yours is set right. Um, you got to put both numbers in. Uh huh. So one is your max, and then one is what you're currently at. Gotcha. And when you put both of them, the bar shows up. And then I, I set it so that your healers can actually see is why we have the bar so that people that heal can kind of get an idea of what they're doing. Look at someone and see how much wound. Yeah. You're going to add Harshnag also? Yep, he's up there. Yeah, put uh, put uh, his bar in. Oh, it's yeah, let's make it viewable. All right, I think we've got it. A quick switch around. What does she have? 40, 48 hit points. Okay, let's get hers in. Can you guys see the aura on Finn? Nope. Nope. Uh, I can, hold on. I can set that. There you go. Oh. Now I can see. Nice. Your beacon of hope. Um, the only one I don't see. Oh, 50. It's Ardreth. It says it's on there. At least it's on my side. Something right. different I need to do? Uh, no, I think I fixed it. Okay. All right, so Harshnag kind of lopes forward from you guys. 
Um, I've got no line of sight on this map because it's still daytime up here. So you guys should be able to see how they're arrayed. And they're rushing south towards Harshnag. You guys are off to the side just a little bit and we'll say that they don't quite see you. I'm not really counting any of this stuff as cover or anything. Just kind of ignore that there's rock faces here. It's more flat than, than this map shows, but it was a good enough map for us to use. Um, so you should be able to select your token and we can roll initiative. I'm still not seeing Edrum's bar. Okay, I'll fix it in just a sec. All right, I think, oh no, I got fire giants. There we go. All right, everybody good? Uh, descending, oh, yep. coffee rolled well. Okay. Uh, yeah, that kind of makes a little bit of sense. Harshnag's just up there bellowing. All right, um, so you guys can rearrange yourself a little bit as long as you're, you know, south of Harshnag. He ran forward, so. And each square is five, right? Uh, yeah, it should be. Okay. All right. So coffee... So everybody go ahead and range yourself. I kind of moved you to the left side just so you didn't have to worry about. Um, that terrain isn't like a big cliff. Just think of it as just a different color of stone, but it's all flat. All right, we're good. Sorry, since we've it's been a while since we've done these. How do you figure out distance from you to another one? Uh, either the you ruler, can, yeah, the ruler, or counting squares. But if you the, mean, I like knew the, there was a radial button for it. I just didn't remember which one. So thanks. It's the one, it's yeah, the, the comb. Took me five minutes to remember how to use the dice last week. So. We're good. It's that old age. Ha ha. <laughs> um, all right. So, Coffee, you are up. I think I'm going to hold. I don't want to rush out there in the. Okay, so what's going to be your trigger? Holding your action to do what? Probably or are you just like waiting. saying, just wait till the next turn? Yeah, I'll probably wait till the next turn. Okay. I want to see how it develops. All right, uh, Edrum, that means you're up. I'm currently hiding behind a rock. These guys are all approaching us now, right? Um, yeah, they're charging down from the north cave entrance where they've, they've already made it a little ways. Um, so what's basically happened is Harshnag has taunted them. They've charged down from where they were. And then, you know, a minute or so later, probably not even that much, but 30 seconds down of their charge, um, 
we kind of get to this map. So they're they're at a full speed, a full sprint heading towards Harshnag. Do I see any uh, ranged weapons in evidence? Um, or is it too far away to tell? Uh, well, you know that orcs and orogs and, and, I mean, typically have javelins and then fire giants usually have rocks. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Windwall. Okay. In a second. Yeah, so you can make a 50 foot long, 15 foot high, one foot thick wall. And you can do that. There's a there's a draw tool that should let you. I'm gonna put a wood wall right there. Okay. So you cast the spell as your action, um, any movement or bonus action. Uh, nope. I will end my turn here. All right. So we kind of see dust and and debris and like sticks and. Um, you know, kind of kick up from where this wind wall is. Yep. Uh, that will bring us to Ardrith. So we can do 30 and launch a spell still, right? Yes. All right. I'm going to learn how to go back and forth between the bu buttons. Five, ten. <laughs> happens to me all the time. <laughs> I know. Advance to this spot. And then I'm going to launch off um, my lightning storm. Right. How do I mark the dot again? We'll cast the spell so we can see the the stuff on it. So ba basically, a storm cloud appears. It's a sixty foot radius from where I just drew that blue dot, blue square. Uh, okay. So we should just be able to do this then. Uh, sure, grayish sounds good. Okay, so we should be able to go like... Uh, this... Right. No. But it should actually be up and to the left a little bit. Yeah. Uh, What's it doing? Huh, so let me select it. Did I get moved? Oh, shoot. It's weird, I can draw it. Usually you can just move it. Objects and tokens. It's being stubborn. I see yeah. a circle there. I can't uh, interact with it. Hmm. Cl 
clear drawings. All right, that cleared it. Draw shape. Oh yeah, see that worked. One more time. Okay, so let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, that's pretty close. Maybe like that. All right. I can't move it again. All right, so it's going to get a couple of them, a few of them. Uh, Where did you want it centered? Well, ho hold on. 60 foot radius, me and my math skills, which suck. Is radius total distance across it? No. Or is it 60 no, point from center? Okay, so it's 30. <laughs> 30 in all directions from the center. Uh, 60 foot radius would be 120 foot diameter. Okay, and that's so it's too small at this point then right now. Yes. So I think where where I had placed it should have gotten pretty much all of them. So if it was to the right more, it's aiming a little bit for straight out in front of me, 120. Let's try it again. Sorry to be such a pain about this. It's just not doing what I want it to do. Damn technology. Yeah, and the minute I click off it, it just sits, and now it doesn't move again. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Let me think about this a second. Do you uh, drag and select the whole thing, maybe? Yeah, that's what I'm trying. As soon as you click off it, it it's stationary, and I can't select it again. All right, so let's just eyeball it, I guess. Uh, so we want, I mean, you should just be able to count. Which, at 120 feet. It. Yeah, I mean, at 120 feet from where I centered it, it gets pretty much all of them. Because it's if it's sixty feet in all directions, I can. Yeah, it can be centered so that it gets all of them one hundred and twenty feet from in front of me. So I will take my first shot. At and it's a. 
five feet of that point must make dexterity save throw. Okay, I'm gonna go after one of the giants. I mean, let's just go for this bad boy. So, three die ten lightning damage on a failed save against the first the giant on the left. Okay. So go ahead and roll your damage. Okay, yeah. So he doesn't make a deck save. Uh, so he'll just take the 16 points and the guy on the left. You got it. Yep. Okay, yeah, so a bolt of lightning will, will streak down from the, the cloud that's formed above into that. Crack giant. into his nasty, fiery melon of a head. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Use movement, action, uh, bonus action. Bonus action will be um, Bardic Inspiration on my friend Harshnag. And since it's been a while since we've done that one, I'll put it in chat. So now he will get, um, at fifth level, he gets a die eight. Okay. Um... That is such a good spell. <laughs> Yeah, it comes in handy. It's a good one. All right. So, Giant's turn. Uh, they are going to... Pearl, I guess, some rocks as they're moving 30 feet. Makes sense. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 15, 20, 25, 30. And, yeah, so they'll... Harshnag is taunting them, so... Fire giant rock at Harshnag. Uh, they roll a 20. And and Harshnag kind of um, twists just as the rock is hitting, and it kind of flings off of one of his uh, pauldrons, which is like he wears plate mail um, pauldrons that he has on, and it, it crashes off his pauldron. And then... Uh, What's the range on that? I mean, Ardrith kind of made him a target. How far away are you? Ooh, you're quite a ways. Yeah, they'll throw another rocket at Harshnag. If I'm going to pick a fight, I'm doing it from a distance, man. Uh, fire giant. Rock. Ah, oh, misses again. Two misses. Nice. So they're on the run. They're not having a good aim as they're running, um, but they, they fling two rocks, and you guys see them f go off into the distance. Uh, Graybeard's up. Woo -woo. All right. I'm going to do some creative shuffling. I am going to attempt to still stay behind the harsh nag for now because it's going to be a couple. Of... Okay. Uh, Orps. 
I mean, I see the I see the wind well, so even if I was in range for a javelin, it uh, wouldn't do much good. Okay. Uh, orcs start to move. Uh, so wait, that'd be right about... Uh, there. We'll move them up 30 for a second here. About like that. Like that. All right, so we'd get them there. When they go, if they try to go through the wind wall, nothing happens to them, right? That's just uh, if they throw stuff. Yep, uh, nothing happens unless I create the wind wall on top of them. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, um, so they've moved, but they're just gonna use dash to get closer. And they're gonna spread out a little bit. So they're gonna use another 30. Like that. Okay, so those guys move another 30. The Orogs also, you guys can tell these guys are in plate armor. They're also going to move. They're going to dash. Which gets them there. Like so. And then they have a bonus action that allows them to move again. As long as they're moving towards an enemy. So... that I guess like that uh, it puts him there I think he'd be there all right He'd be right there. All right, so they dash, they move their bonus action. So they're basically just racing forward. It's obvious that they're um, moving to engage you guys, kind of moving around Harshnag. Finn, you're up. Finn and Smiles. All right. Finn is going to cast Armor of Faith on himself. And then he is going to move up towards Greybeard. Okay. Um, I've not asked this before, but if you, uh, if you use the assist action or the aid action, can you do that with a ranged combat as well? Or help? Ah, no, never mind. It's gotta be within five feet of you. 
I was going to say, I think... I think yeah. the target has to be within five feet of you. So if you're so in if you're five in feet five... of the target... Smiles pulls his bow and will shoot that orc. Right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, 24 would hit. So we see an arrow uh, strike into the arm of the orc. It lets out a growl. And he's slobbering. He's slobbering. Is that first blood? Sure. He's going he's gonna to turn around and, and, and wink at uh, Ian. <laughs> Ian shoots him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, friendly competition. Guess not. Let's see. So Ian would be up. So normally, she normally would probably just do her. I'm, I'm sure it's listed here. What's the name of it? It is named Hunter's Mark. And I'm sure she would go for one of the giants, which would make sense. Oh, Oshbo, all that. Yeah. Uh... So Hunter's Mark, what I need to know, though, is... Oh, it's bonus action. So Hunter's Mark's the bonus action. Got it. Uh... Did she put down the bow stuff? Or should I look it up? Hmm. Yeah, you guys should always put that in your character sheets. What's that? She should, she should have it all under her weapon things in the middle. She said she spent forever programming them in there. Yeah, that piece is in there, but I need the text that says, is it a bonus action to do that or not? Hmm. So I gotta look it up. I'll look it up. Oathbow. Uh, yeah, it looks like it might be part of the action. Yeah, okay, so it's not a separate. I just want to make sure it wasn't a, a second bonus action that she was using. All right, so that should be Oathbow with... Oh my God. I think I'm hitting the right one, but I could be wrong. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, I should make a screenshot of this so you guys can see it. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with. Hold on a second. I'm going to put this in Discord. Where is that? That. That. That I'm gonna put it in SKT chat. This is what I'm having to decipher. If you look at that, <laughs> <laughs> yep. <sighs> Oathbow with Hunter's Mark and uh, Giant Slayer. Um, 
I misread her intelligence and constitution there for a minute as a one. I'm like, what? She's got a one? All right, I'm just going to pick one, I guess. I I think this is right. God, the letter she curses so much when she's trying to figure stuff out. Yeah, because I think she has these things like favorite enemy gives you something, but then Colossal Slayer gives you something else. Mm-hmm. Colossal Slayers, if they're already wounded, you get an extra D8. So... Yeah, I, so I think it's just Hunter's Marked Favorite Enemy. Like, so I think it's this one. I think. <laughs> We're going with it. That's the one I'm pushing. Just say All she right. kills the fire giant and be done with it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I second that motion. Harump, she harump. did 25 points, so that's good. <laughs> and I think she gets two of those. Yeah, extra attack, two attacks per turn. And now it's wounded, right? So it's even more damage. Oh, she misses. So second arrow smashes off the plate armor and uh, does no damage. First arrow sinks in. All right, good God. Uh, Harshnag's turn. He's going to run forward to meet the Giants. So he's going to run... So he's running up to meet the Giants. Back to the top of the round. Coffee Black. All right, so I will... Now go into Blade Song, cast haste, and be ready to engage. All right, Blade Song's on the tracker, but that would be all of your turn, correct? Yeah, I have movement, but that's about it. Okay. Edrum, you were up. Um, I'm going to drop the wind wall because they're all past that. Okay. And I think... I am going to move up here and I am going to take a swipe at that one with the mace. All right. Nope. Nine would miss. So that was and... some of your movement. Uh, you probably saw a bonus action or more movement. Uh, that will be my turn. Okay. Uh, Ardreth, you're up. All right, five. I'm going to slide back to here and then bring lightning down on that same giant that I hit before. Okay, so just going to roll the damage. Uh, yep. Oh, one really good, two really crap, I guess, in the end. Uh, dexterity, where are you at? And he's going to take half of that. Okay, so another bolt of lightning streaks down and hits kind of next to him. It, it grazes him some, but you don't think you got a direct hit on him. Was that the same giant that uh, Ian just hit? Yep. Unless you're hitting a different one. No, I'm hitting the one that I hit the first time, which is the one on the left. Okay, yep, yep, same one. Uh, all right. All done? 
No. Bardic inspiration on Finn. So that should be two. Should have one more to go. Uh, move the lie in a second. There we go. Okay. Uh, fire giant's turn. So they run up to Harsnag. He's not going to get quite in there. He's is. So Mr. Fire Giant's going to great sword against Harshnag. Uh, 26 is a hit. Second sword shot. Clangs off his armor and his, uh, his axe does not hit. So he's going to take the first shot. Uh-huh. Harshnag has taken a wound. Uh, the other fire giant... Uh, let's see how far away you guys are. About 80 feet to you guys. Ardrith Ian is pretty far out, 85, so yeah, pretty close. Yeah, he's going to throw a rock towards... Uh, I'm going to go 1d6, either Finn or Greybeard, who seem to be the most up forward guys. So 1, 2, 3, he throws it at the paladin on the on the lion, which would make sense. Or he has some ultimate hatred of dwarves, so he throws it at the dwarf on a four, five, six. Giants love dwarves. Giving them hugs. We're about to find out. One, two, three. He does not like paladins, apparently, so a rock is coming towards a paladin. Oh boy. Uh, that's a crit. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not. It's not. Calm down. Settle, Settle down. down. Over, like 60 over 60 feet. It's a disadvantage, so he only rolls a 28. So it's not the um, extra damage. Uh, so it's just 19 points. So 19 points of rock damage hits uh, Finn on the back of Nod. And that'll be his turn. Uh, Greybeard, we'll just get to the bottom of the round and then we'll, we'll go ahead and call the session. So Greybeard, you're up. Okay. There are the orcs to be slain. Take a step. And hawaka. Oh, bonus action to rage up. And then step forward. Hawaka. Yeah, 18 will hit. Uh... Yep, that's enough to kill that guy outright. So let's mark him dead. Splork. Cut him in two. Yep, anything else? Uh, no, because I don't think you can split your attack, uh, your extra attack, so... I don't think I can chop with my axe and then throw a javelin. No, that'd be interacting with two different yep. weapons. So yep, I think so, you're right there. So nope, eyes done. All right, orcs are up. 
Um, they obviously surround some of you guys, so... Okay, so they move, but they they will use a bonus action. Yeah, as a bonus action, they can move again 30 feet. So we'll send this guy here. 5, 10, 15, all right. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can't quite get to Ian. 2530, we can get to Ardreth. 30. 30. 30. As bonus actions. So, okay. So let me handle the guys that are in base contact right now because they can attack. So it looks like we have uh, two attacks on, starting over on the left, our Blade Singer. So two great axes swing at coffee from our orcs. So here's the first one. Uh, 18 and second one, 10. I think both of those are not high enough for your AC. What's your AC at right now? 22. Oh yeah, that's a good one. There we go. I'm going to put it there so I can remember. Perfect. So uh, they axes clang off of his blade song swords, parry and block them aside so he's not injured. One orc great axe towards Edrum. Critical hit. Yep. 25. So rolled bad in the damage. So it's going to be 6 plus the 12. So 18 points of damage, 18 points of slashing. Okay. All right, Orog. Oh, do I have there? Don't. Mr. Orog. All right, so they also have great axes. So this is a great axe swing against uh, Finn on top of Nod. Hit. Rolled a nine. Oh, sorry. Miss. 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 Yeah, miss. Um, all right, Greybeard, you're getting two Orog great axes. So here's those. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll come back around. So 24. Yep. So 12 slashing. Uh, an 8 would probably be a miss. Yep. Orogs get two attacks in a round. So this is one more for Finn. Uh, did the... Go ahead. Did one of those ha guys have to extra dash to get to me, though? No, I used a bonus action to move. Okay. He has a... He has a uh, I remember those. 30 Orcus foot. Trait. Yeah, it's called aggressive. That allows them to move as yeah, a bonus yeah. action. Okay. Um, no, and in fact, the ones that aren't near are the only ones that can still dash, and they, they're going to do the dash and not attack. But I kind of left them so I could see who could attack and who couldn't. Um, Finn, a 12 would clang off of your plate mail armor and not injure you. Um, Greybeard, two more attacks. The Orogs get two attacks per turn. They're Take. similar to you guys, so here's another one. For nine slashing, 24, that will hit. Okay. And a nine, would you would dodge out of the way and would not injure you. There is one orc there, though, who's a regular orc. He gets one attack on you. 
he's the guy to the right, but he only rolls a 10, so he also misses. So axes are whirling all around you, but only a couple get through. Smiles has an Orog on him, so here's the attacks for him. Uh, eight slashing damage. I'm sure 25 will hit him. What, what armor is he wearing? Is he chain? Is he chain? chain. He's got an 18. Okay, yeah, so that one will hit. Uh, oh, two hits. Eight and eight. Slashing. Uh, Ardreth, there's one attack that does get to you. But this is a regular orc, so he only gets the one attack. He rolls a 10. Shouldn't be high enough to get through your armor. You are correct. All right. So that is all those attacks. These last guys who did not attack for their final part of their action, they're going to dash, which allows them to get uh, in closer, but they don't get to attack. All right. Uh, Finn, you are up. All right. First thing he's going to do is attempt to shield bash the Orog. So it's an opposed strength. Or athletics, I guess. Okay. Ah. 13. Nope. Okay, so two shots. Oh, you know what? I just rolled that off smiles. Hold on. Well, it'd be a four plus your bonus. Doesn't matter. Okay. There we go. All right. So I beat him. Okay. And I knock him down. Okay. All right, so once he is prone, I will attack him twice. Yeah, yeah, he's prone. Uh, oh, I see. You were just trying to get the the text to go, or I'm not sure why you have three rolls up there. Rolls up there. Because they're delayed, but the the first one was I rolled off the of smiles, so it didn't have my plus six it was only plus four gotcha gotcha and it just i clicked it twice trying to get through it okay, okay. So, two hits. so two hits uh what's the racy uh well you rolled what a 19 and a 22 yeah yep. that hits them yeah 17 all right Okay. Um, uh, I'm assuming that's a bonus action that you've already used. So I guess the only thing you'd have is movement. Yeah, but I'm not going to move out of his range. I'm going to stay there, make him stand up. All right, Ian. Hmm. Hmm. Her armor class is not great. Yeah, she's not meant for close-up combat. I think... I think she would step away, maybe take a shot so she could still shoot. So I'm going to move her closer to Ardreth. They're going to get attack of opportunity on her, but I think she would normally just try to take that. Uh, 
Okay, it's just going to take eight. And the other guy. Oh, both of them hit her. Then she's just going to shoot the orc, but it's going to be not Hunter's Mark. And not the Oath. So I think it's just this one. Yeah, that'll hit the orc. Oh, kills him. And her second arrow in the next orc. Oh yeah, hits again. Oh, downs both of them. She's not worried about no orcs. All right, Harshnag gets the final blow of the session. Um, he's going to adjust his position to engage both of them. So he's adjusting his position to engage both. And then he's going to keep hammering on the one that already has damage for his attacks. Uh, yeah, so here he's going to swing. Misses his first attack. Not so good. His mighty axe swings a second time. Uh, 20 does hit. So for 25 slashing. Oof. Kind of needed a better round there. All right. So when we come back next week, uh, we will be at the top of the round with Coffee leading us off in this battle of the challenged fire giants. And we'll continue to see what, where this takes us and what happens. Um, so thanks for everybody joining and sticking with us through our getting our map changed over and our token set up. Um, but next week, everything will be set here. We can just start right in and get right into this fight, which is a pretty good one so far. And if you miss anything, you can go ahead and check it out on the VODs, or you can go ahead and check it out on YouTube. I'll put it up a couple days later um, on YouTube. This, I believe, is session 42 now. So we've done 42 sessions. Um, you can check out Greybeard's channel over in Twitch. Just look for Greybeard's Tavern. Um, he does a lot of streaming. You can check out PB's YouTube channel at PB Plays Inside for YouTube. And then my channel is Sir Lucian in YouTube and Sir Lucian for Twitch. So hope you guys enjoyed it. More fire giant action. Um, if you want more D&D, &D, we should be also playing Thursday night where we're playing a homebrew campaign there. You can check us back out on that. I think we start about 8.30 for that one. Um, so we start a little bit later on Thursday evening. And we're still trying to work out some other games, some one shots here and there. So keep an eye out. So just want to say thanks for joining and we will see you in the next one.